Hey guitarists, today I'm going to be showing you 60 voicings of the caged chords and we're going to do this in less than 10 minutes. The track that you just heard was my attempt at Roy Buchanan's version of Hey Joe. If you have not seen Roy Buchanan live at Austin, Texas, you have to go check out It's Amazing. All right, so first off, what are the prerequisites that we have to have to understand this lesson? Number one, you have to know the chromatic scale. So that's right here before you. Be able to say that or write it in less than 20 seconds. You also need cycle four. Here's that. And you need to be able to say that pretty quickly as well. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, F sharp, B, E, A, D, and G. If you can do those two things, you're going to have a pretty good chance at getting all these chords in less than 10 minutes. Okay, definition time. What is caged? Cage is simply a way to get voicings all over the neck. If I have a C chord, it's my ability to play that chord in all sorts of different places. This sounds like a C, looks like a C. This sounds like a C, looks like an A chord. This sounds like a C, looks like a G. Sounds like a C, looks like an E. Sounds like a C, looks like a D. All right, so the C chord, pretty self-explanatory, but when I move that up the neck, right now you should be seeing that uh, PDF on the screen. You'll notice that that D chord is now at the second to fifth fret. Now, when you are developing the muscle memory needed to play these things, my advice is this. You're gonna grab the chord, you're gonna pluck each note individually, okay, and then you're gonna take your hand off. Repeat, so I'm gonna play off, off off, off, do it 50 times, do it 100 times. This is how you develop muscle memory with chords, okay? You may have to do this with all of these if you haven't done these before. That's a real easy way to get a lot of repetitions in a small amount of time, okay? So that's our D chord. Now remember, it looks like a C, but it sounds like a D, okay? Next is going to be this one here. This sounds like a D, but it looks like an A. That's why it's the C A of caged, right? Okay, the next one is here. This is the G form of D. So it looks like a G, but it sounds like a D, okay? Notice we're not gonna be using the high E string. Just going up to the B string on that one. If we play the high E string, we turn it into a D6 chord. You may like that, that's great, but it's not what we're doing today. All right, so so far we have D, D, and D. Next, you may be familiar with this one. It's the E form of D looks like an E chord, but sounds like a D. There we go. And I have that at the uh, 10th fret, all right? Lastly, we have looks like a D, sounds like a D type of thing. This is basically your D chord, like you would play D over F sharp, and I'm playing it up here. You could play it, you know, like this, but we have other voicings for that, and this is a really good way to play inversions. Okay, so at this point, we would practice this for the D chords. You just go back and forth. Okay? And so that type of practice will get you really far. Now, because we know cycle four and because we know our chromatic scale, we can start putting this whole thing together and we can start doing it in cycle four for all 60 chords. Okay? So C. C is here and here. Okay? And what I'm looking for are the roots. If you see the roots there on the document, you're going to be able to locate those on the neck. This is why note recognition is an essential skill for the guitar. There is no other way to find these chords quickly unless you're able to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna play through all 60. You ready? Here we go. C, here's F, here's B flat, here's E flat, here's A flat, here's D flat, and then we're gonna go to F sharp. And we're gonna go to B. Then we're gonna go to E. We're gonna go to A. We're gonna go to D. And then we're gonna go to G. We could play it. All right, so that's all 60. So if you're able to play that, that's really good. You can do that with the metronome and that's a really good exercise. All right, so on to Hey Joe. And so what I'm gonna suggest that we do is we're gonna play Hey Joe with each one of these chord inversions, but we're gonna do it in each location. So the chords are C, G, D, A, E, okay? So. But 
But we're going to do that in each location. So I'm going to find my next C. G. D. A. And there's my E over G sharp. Moving on to my next one. C. G. D. A. E. And then I'm going to move to the next one. C. G. D. A. E. And we're going to move on to our next one, C, G, D, A, E. And that'll give us all of them. So let's see what this sounds like with the track. So that's all of them. So you can take a song like that uh, and practice it, you know, to have something fun to play. But the goal is, is to be able to have any one of these voicings available to you at all times. And that's why we practice. So, all right. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.